Welcome back to Ten Slide Info. Even though India wants to make Tejas a truly indigenous fighter, there are situations or requirements or lack of technologies indigenously which makes India forced to use imported technologies or devices in the Tejas fighters. To give a few examples, Tejas Mark 1, Mark 1A and Mark 2 will be powered using General Electric F404G IN20. and F414G INS6 after burning engines from the United States so the most vital component of the Tejas fighter which is the engine that itself is not an indigenous one even though india might be working along with the french aerospace company safron which manufactures rafale fighter engines for the fifth generation aircraft engines we need to wait and see the outcome of this particular planned joint venture So as of now engines are being imported from the United States for the Tejas fighter. Next vital component for which we are dependent on foreign countries is the radar. Coming to the radar, the initial production batch of Tejas Mark 1A would be fitted with Elta ELM2052 AESA radars which are manufactured by Elta Systems of Israel. Even though there are plans to integrate the Uttam AESA radar with Tejas fighters, we need to wait and watch if HL can really remove the Israel radars and depend on these indigenous ones. Next in the list is the ejection seat which is a very vital component of Tejas fighters and even these fighters are being imported from the United Kingdom and these are manufactured by Martin Baker. Even though there are many more items to be mentioned here, I just wanted to give few examples to prove that India has to depend on other countries for majority of vital components for the Tejas fighter variants. I am not saying this is bad since for a fighter to be a successful one there is nothing wrong to depend on another friendly countries for the vital components. Now according to the latest update it looks like Saab from Sweden is offering their gallium nitride based AES radar technology and willing to even share its technology for ongoing and future indigenous LCN AMC fighters the package consists of state of the art Saab airborne electronically scanned array fighter radar closely integrated with a compact electronic warfare suit using gallium nitride based AESA technology according to me obviously india can consider this offer from sweden for the tejas fighters since this package offers a solution that will bring the required aesa fighter radar and electronic warfare capability to india saab electronic warfare suit which is known as arexis is set out to create the smartest electronic warfare solutions for modern air forces and as i said this offer from saab will offer an unrivaled surviving capability and situational awareness to the tejas fighters not only that This Swedish package will give the pilots a self-reliant ability to operate without the need of escorting with a specialized electronic warfare aircrafts. So that was a quick and a small video to provide detail on the recent update from Sweden Saab on their Erexis electronic warfare suit. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tensler Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.